I just listened to In This Life. I was listening to the Madonna Erotica album because I suddenly saw a parallel between the intro to Erotica, bomb, 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 and the Immaculate Collection version of Like a Prayer. Dum, 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 dum. And I thought, hmm, wonder what's going on there then. You know, the interval between notes. I am not a studied musical person. I am a play it by ear genius. But um, suddenly it was crystal clear and they're not in the same key uh, or, or rather they're not the exact same notes but they might well be in the same key. I don't understand really how keys work. I mean, I, I know enough to know that I don't know exactly how they work. Um, but then the album just rolled along and along and along and the next thing you know I'm listening to In This Life which I have always not enjoyed because... At that time, she was going absolute gangbusters. She had just done Blonde Ambition. She was doing the erotica tour. She'd done the sex book. It was outrageous. And being on the bandwagon with her at that time was out freaking rageous. But in this life was just, you know, slit your wrist sort of stuff. Anyway, fast forward to now and I'm listening to it and... The person that she's singing about, who died, was about the same age I was when I was listening to it. And now I'm an old bugger, like twice that age, um, like I'm an adult, and um, two things, two things. First, I'm listening to it as an adult and it's making me cry. Second thing, I'm listening to her phrasing and the nature of the arrangement of the track. And I'm thinking the reason that probably nobody, not nobody, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty diehard and I always have been. And, and um, I, I mean, I could not. I could not tune into it. Ah. Um, and it's because the, it, it's like a clockwork song. There's no lilting feeling in the musicality of it, especially considering the subject matter material. Um, and, and, and she said when she was doing Hard Candy with uh, when she was doing Hard Candy with um, the guy from N.E.R.D., you know, and they did the Daft Punk thing, you know, she likes to move it, move it. Just one of those things. You know, and he did the, um, just lucky. With Daft Punk. That guy, you know? He did Happy with Justin Timberlake. Can't remember his name. But, you know, he's a talented guy. And, um, a conversation that they had in further reading when you were looking into the Hard Candy album which of course everyone was um, she was um, frustrated because he wanted to get her to sing in a more syncopated um, riffy jivey you know black sort of freestyle-y way but by that time she she was fairly locked down to the 4-4 or the 2-4 um, 
uh, time signature, you know, where it's like dun 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 dun. I mean, even that might have been a bit much for her at the time. I mean, she's sung she's sung more freestyle and more riffy and more syncopated in the past. But looking looking at these songs and um, like when you go to her early albums, she could just she was so flexible and she wasn't thinking along those lines. But the more the 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 more uh, stuff that she had to keep an eye on. Um, that that syncopation fell away and um it, it no longer was a uh, sort of a natural thing and and she com she complained she whined like a biatch uh i don't remember hearing him saying anything but i remember her saying something and i thought i wonder if she's saying this now because she knows if he says anything it'll be god she was a pain because she literally has no rhythm which, of course, she does. I mean, if she could sing like she dances, she has syncopation in her dancing. You know, she can learn choreography. She can still do that. Even though now it's limited because of she's full of injuries and stuff. But, um... No, we all know that she can move. And, um, if you can move your body muscles, you can move your singing muscles. And she's done it in the past. So, um, I think the main reason I just, a few of the songs struggled for me on that Erotica album was because I think that was a bit of a turning point where she wanted to keep things very 4-4 four, four or 2-4 and not so syncopated. It might have been deliberate because she wanted them to be remixed into underground club tracks. Or it might have been accidental because she had a lot of projects on the go and she was, you know, she was fishing for Evita long before that. <sighs> Whatever it was, it kind of stuck. So, um, did I say hard candy? Yeah, yeah, hard candy, yeah. The, the hard, so, the, so the criticism from that guy was on the Hard Candy album when he was working with her but the song that I was just listening to which I was just boohooing at on the way here um, was on the Erotica album yeah so I'm only saying that because I just want to like squeeze I, I kind of want to wring myself dry like a flannel because I was about to go home and I thought, no, I'm so bunged up and so full of, like, I've got a cold. I've got a, right now, of all times, to have a cold. Thanks, my dear, darling nephew. Everyone's like, you know, he's so good at washing his hands. He's so good. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, great. Anyway, both mum and I have this thing now and I haven't slept in days because my throat hurts it, 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 it is like a razor um, it's like a like a like a, a waste disposal it's not the time that you want to be thinking about that fortunately he was home from school for weeks before all this went down so um I know what I've got, but um, I just don't want anyone else in the house to get it, and I don't want Mum to get, you know, I, I just want everything to sort of clean up and everything, so I'm just out as much as I can be. So, um, instead of going home, I just drove straight past home and came another 10 kilometres in the other direction to do my little garden for Chester. You know, here. <laughs> okay, so. See ya! <laughs>